दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो इन सुर्खियों में वी नाउ ब्रिंग यू अ स्पेशल प्रोग्राम ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स विजिट टू यूएसए अ न्यू चैप्टर इन इंडिया यूएस एंड इंडिया एंड क्वार टाइज नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ स्पेशल प्रोग्राम प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स विजिट टू यूएसए अ न्यू चैप्टर इन इंडिया यूएस एंड इंडिया क्वार टाइज The Prime Minister's visit to United States has been keenly followed by the citizens back home as well as India watchers across the globe. Over the past 4 days, we heard and saw Mr. Modi interacting with US President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris and the top industry leaders in Washington. It was followed by the Quad summit with the heads of states from India, Australia, Japan and USA sharing the platform. The visit concluded with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's address to the UN General Assembly in New York. In this program we shall provide the glimpses of the visit and how productive and fruitful it has been. We now go live to our special correspondent Atul Tiwari in New York for the sum and substance of the Prime Minister's visit to United States. Atul, the visit started on a bright note with Prime Minister Modi and US President Joe Biden sharing positive vibes. What has been the outcome of the meeting of minds of the heads of states from the world's largest and the oldest democracies? Well, Rishma, the two leaders struck a right chord from the very beginning. U.S. President Joe Biden praised India's COVID management and said both the nations hold similar views on a free, open Indo-Pacific, which should be resilient, climate crisis, quad, and a host of issues. Prime Minister Modi said the two nations with shared democratic values are natural allies and will work for a peaceful, secure and better world. Both the leaders resolved to advance the US India comprehensive global strategic partnership. The leaders came out heavily against the terrorists and their perpetrators. The joint statement issued after the meeting between President Biden and Prime Minister Modi said United Nations Security Council resolutions on terrorism must be respected in letter and spirit. President Biden welcomed the announcement by India that it will resume export of COVID-19 vaccines including to Covax. He also promised India to accelerate clean energy development and deployment of critical technologies to advance a clean energy transition. The two leaders agreed to expand cooperation in areas of critical and emerging technology. President Biden and Prime Minister Modi celebrated the deep and vibrant ties between the people of the two nations. Another significant aspect has been the interaction of the Prime Minister with US Vice President Kamala Harris. Tell us what transpired in the talks. Well, Reshma, Vice President Kamala Harris and Prime Minister Modi shared positive and warm vibes. The two leaders expressed happiness at their first in-person meeting. Mr. Modi and Kamala Harris discussed the COVID-19 situation and the ongoing efforts to contain the pandemic. The Prime Minister lauded the US support at that time. The American Vice President appreciated India's vaccination drive and how it has now moved to export vaccines for humanity. India and USA both the countries have suffered most during the COVID-19 pandemic world also felt the heat atul how the leaders of the two countries responded to it in their conversations reshma prime minister narendra modi said that at court's request india would make available 8 million doses of johnson and johnson's janssen vaccine manufactured in india by biological e This would be ready by October end and will be compatible with India's decision to resume vaccine export. Mr. Modi also expressed thanks for the solidarity shown by US government and the people of US when India faced second wave of crisis. President Biden appreciated India's role that has extended assistance to countries across the world through pharmaceuticals and vaccines. The bilaterals are equally important in any foreign visit. What we saw this time was the leaders from Australia and Japan sharing their mutual concerns with India. Can you give a sense of it? Reshma, Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a bilateral meeting with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison on the sidelines of Quad Leaders Summit in Washington. This was the first in-person meeting between the two leaders in the post-pandemic period. During the meeting, the Prime Ministers discussed a broad range of issues of bilateral regional and global importance they noted the successful outcome of recently held first india australia foreign and defense ministers 2 plus 2 dialogue both the leaders resolved to continue close cooperation for mutual well-being 
and towards their shared objective of an open, free, prosperous and rules-based Indo-Pacific region. The Prime Minister underlined the need to address the issue of climate change on an urgent basis. Both leaders also discussed possibilities of providing clean technologies. The meeting of Prime Minister of India and the Prime Minister of Japan was in a quite warm atmosphere. Mr. Modi and Mr. Suga had a fruitful meeting in Washington. The two leaders held discussions on several issues. These include ways to further give impetus to trade and cultural ties. They discussed a range of issues including Indo-Pacific, regional developments, supply chain resilience, trade, digital economy and people-to-people -people ties. The Quad Summit has its own dynamics with four top leaders of the world at one platform. What message did they give and how effective will it be? The Quad Group of Four Nations held its first in-person meeting in Washington. Prime Minister Modi said, Quad is a force for global good and the discussions with Quad leaders were extensive and productive. He recalled how the four nations met for the first time after 2004 tsunami to help the Indo-Pacific region. And today, when the world is combating COVID-19 pandemic, Quad countries have come together once again for the welfare of humanity. President Joe Biden said this group has democratic partners who share a similar worldview and have a common vision for future. He said the Quad group is coming together to face key challenges of the recent times. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said Quad is about demonstrating how democracies such as these four nations can get things done. In his opening statement at the Quad Summit, Mr. Morrison said there is no part of the world that is more dynamic than Indo-Pacific at this time. Japanese Premier Yoshihide Suga said the Quad nations cherish their shared values. He pointed out whether it is regional issues or issues like COVID, Quad has addressed many of them. Mr. Suga said, till date, Quad has given its absolute cooperation in big sectors. Lauding the leadership of Prime Minister Modi and President Biden, he said, Indo-Pacific must be free, open, inclusive and resilient for peace and stability in the region. During the course of the visit, you would have interacted with experts from various fields. What is their take on the visit? Arishma, experts are of the opinion that the visit holds a lot of potential and with the intent of the government, they are quite hopeful of further expansion of India-United States and india Quad ties. Atul, can you share some lighter moments shared by or among the leaders during this visit? Arishma, quite a few lighter moments came during the visit. Like uh, President Biden sharing a story that he received a mail when he was 29 years old from Mumbai that there are five persons with the Biden name in India. He was quite surprised and so was the house in laughter with Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Mr. Modi said he has got some papers and he will try to figure out the veracity. The Prime Minister also gifted the saris of her grandmother to the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. And Atul, last but not the least, what has been the response and the reactions from the Indian diaspora in USA? The Indian diaspora has been quite upbeat. They expressed hope that the relations will gather a fresh momentum and the two nations can explore new areas of cooperation for a better tomorrow. Every visit has its own expectations and outcomes. The leaders and their policy prescriptions make the difference and more so when they are grounded in reality, guided by wisdom and the foresight for a better tomorrow. As the curtains come to close on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the United States, a new chapter is all set to be written in the realms of geopolitical arena by the forces of global good in tandem with the world's largest and the oldest democracy. You were listening to a special program on Prime Minister's visit to USA a new chapter in India-US and india Quad ties. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel, News on AIR Official.